Here it is. Whoa. Bad love song, satellite radio. Just under the surface, our province is full of delicious hidden gems. Dives that, given the chance, will make your day delicious. I'm Jorge Requena, and I love Manitoba. I love its unique and underappreciated eateries because they make me feel like a tourist at home. I'm Joanna Braun, a city mom who hasn't had a chance to get out and explore my home province, and I'm ready to give it a try. And the best way to do that is to eat at the places you normally would not. And all in one afternoon. Let's take the dive. Bad love song, satellite radio. Winnipeg summers are super fun. One of the best reasons is because you can eat out of trucks. Food trucks made a huge splash in sunny California decades ago. We finally caught up here in Manitoba. Usually, our food trucks are parked down Broadway Avenue, but today they're all parked down Memorial for Manifest a festival of food, rides, music, and all-around fun. I'm showing Joanna a couple of simple tricks to pick the perfect food truck. Some of them have incredibly original offers, and among so many, it can be hard to find the one that stands out. Amazing, you know what? I'm so proud of Winnipeg right now. Yeah. It's raining, right? <laughs> and look at how many people are here. I know! I think we're gonna have a great time. <laughs> Shall we go eat some food? I'm hungry. Okay. Let's get started. But, hey, wait a minute. Tamales? Sound the alarm, Winnipeg. Tamales are here, finally. It was a long wait, but it was worth it. Tamales are one of Latin American Seminole street foods, and seeing them here makes them an obvious choice. Corn dough filled with magic and wrapped in banana leaves, then steamed to perfection. Tamale time is owned by two families from El Salvador that wanted to share their culture with the rest of us, right from the side of this truck. Okay, Joanna, are you ready? I'm ready. Hi there. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Hi. Wonderful, yourself? Great. We usually go to places and ask them to tell us what to eat. Okay, I'd like you to try our pupusa. It's our national dish of El Salvador. Okay. And it's one of my favorites. And our tamale. It's uh, the reason why we started tamale time in the first place and why we named it. Okay. Okay, one pupusa, one tamale. Go for it. It's a big bite. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Oh, that's so good. Mm, this is go. gonna warm me up. Okay, here I go. Mmm. Mmm. There's something so satisfying about tamales. Also, just corn dough with a lot of ingredients yeah. inside of them, sauces, and then steam. This is what I had for Christmas when I was growing up. So Really? That's like a traditional Christmas mm, meal? Mm -hmm. In some places, this is very good. I'm so happy we finally have tamales in Winnipeg. That is actually kind of a big deal. Finding the right flavor can be hard, but there's a trick that will always help you discover something new and delicious. Step out of your comfort zone. Street food is a super important part of many cultures. Many immigrants want to celebrate that. Take, for example, hot rugs an unapologetic, classic Filipino barbecue with traditional recipes that most of us are unfamiliar with. But we're about to eat. I gotta warn you, it's traditional Filipino food. So there's gonna be some things that feel odd in the North American sense, okay. but are gonna be really delicious. Okay. Uh, I grew up in Mexico, yeah. right? Third world country. We have some weird food, <laughs> but it's always super good. So let's try that. Okay. Rod recommended we order the assorted barbecue. It comes with all the delicacies, mag wheels, Esau, and tenga. Most of the menu is comprised of pork delicacies, made from parts of the pork we don't really eat in North America. Okay, so tell me, letter C. Letter C, that's the small intestines. Okay. Those are the mag wheels. Yeah. And they're called mag wheels because they look like wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Good name, love it. These are the pig's ears. Pig's ears, and we call them Walkman in the Philippines, because if you remember Sony. Yeah, nice. <laughs> 
And this is the? And our best seller, one of our best sellers is the pork barbecue skewers. Ah. And little did you know that the sun is actually coming out, Joanna. I know, perfect timing. Right as we put this pork barbecue into our faces. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's wet. It's too good. See? I don't even need to try the pig's ears. Oh, yeah, we're, we're satisfied with them. That was the small start, the world's smallest spite of anything. Pig's ears are comfort food for me. We still eat them when I was little in Mexico. It's so delicious. Okay, so we pushed Joanna out of her comfort zone and I'm proud of her for trying new things. So now it is time for a new take on an old street food classic. Step aside, hot dogs. Enter the Hiroshima. This dish is an obvious choice, as it has been the winner of the Manifest Truck Wars People's Choice Awards four years in a row. Okay, standing in line may seem like a chore, but whenever you see a good long line, it's probably a good sign that you're about to eat something great. They recommend that we order the pork belly Hiroshima, the spicy mayo Hiroshima, and the incredible spicy corn on the cob. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold it. This is why they won three years in a row. Wow. Oh, that's good. Okay, my turn? Yeah. Gonna hold my umbrella yeah. for a second? Oof, pork belly. Oh yeah, that's a good bite. Mm. That's my face. Yeah, no, you look good. Handsome as ever. Mm. Yeah. Not so crazy good. <laughs> Not so crazy good. It took like a couple of seconds for it to hit how yeah. good it is. Okay, John. Yeah. Beautiful day, eh? Oh, it was fantastic. Even though it was rainy, I had It didn't so much matter fun. that it was rainy. No, no, not at all. It was so much fun. Okay, so. Places we ate at yeah. from the start. Okay, tamale time. Yeah. I loved it. You know, I think that if I could learn how to make the pupusas, it could be a staple in my family meals. It is great for breakfast, great for lunch, great for dinner. Something that the Salvadorians are constantly eating and enjoying. Yeah. It's pretty fantastic. Okay, hot rods Filipino barbecue. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's where you made me step out of my comfort zone. I didn't think that I might go home and say to my kids, you know, I have a hankering for pig intestines. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping more people are able to try new things. Yeah. Okay, next stop. We went to Q Grill, yes, which we were calling we Cayo Grill know, and, and KYU, KYU Grill. Grill. <laughs> but now we know it's pronounced Q Grill. Q Grill. That was by far my favorite dish I've had. The stuff that you ate, the spicy mayo, the yeah. chicken skewer was incredible. I had the pork belly, which was very, very good, incredibly prepared, very accessible. It yes. felt like a hot dog, but it didn't taste like a hot right, dog. Right, exactly. The bun yeah. were, was very different than oh, a hot dog that, bun, right? Yeah. Can I quickly say, do you still have room for maybe one bag of mini donuts? Two bags. <laughs> Let's do it. Every city is full of beautiful hidden gems, amazing places that, unbeknownst to you, are perfect. So get out there and eat, lunch yourself, and take the dive. Let us know what you think on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Take the Dive TV.